Welcome to Stormwater Drainage Solutions. And in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you the truth about using PVC pipe for French drain applications. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this video is gonna be showcasing a failed French drain built from PVC that we were contracted to rip out and replace. Now, this system was an open French drain. It did have fabric encasing both the stone and the pipe, but the fabric wasn't closed on top. So essentially water could flow directly into the system. The fabric was the wrong type of fabric, but like I stated, water could still flow directly through the top. So this system really should not have failed as quickly as it did. Now, the problem with using PVC for French drains, as you can see here shortly, as we rip this pipe out of the ground, the holes are only on the bottom of the pipe. You get two options. You either get two holes or three holes. That's the way they come in the, from the manufacturer. The problem with this is those holes, it's not enough to take in large amounts of water when a heavy storm is happening. On top of that, over time, sediment will fill in the bottom of this pipe. It's this is how French drains work no matter what. You're gonna get a little bit of sediment at the bottom of the pipe. So the hole that's directly on the bottom, that hole usually is compromised and has sediment in it within probably a matter of a couple of years. And now you're only collecting water from two holes on either side. So that's the first issue with PVC. You can't put holes around the entire pipe because the pipe is so rigid and strong that if you put too many holes around this pipe, it will crack, it will fracture, it will break because it is so rigid. It has no flexibility, it has no give to it. So PVC pipe with perforations is ideal for leach field applications. Using it to leach water out of those holes in a controlled setting, that is the best application for perforated PVC pipe. Perforated PVC pipe is not good for collecting water. It just, it does not have enough inlet to collect water efficiently. Now, will it work if you put a ton of stone around it and you have a bunch of them in the ground? Sure, it'll collect water, but if you only have one French drain pipe, if you're running it in a tight space like we are here and you only have room for one or two pipes, there's just not enough inlet to collect bulk runoff water. You need a pipe with inlets 360 degrees around the entire thing. Now, the other issue with using PVC for a French drainage application is roots. If roots happen to get into the system, they grow through those few holes that are on the bottom. It's going to compromise that system a lot quicker and sooner than it would a pipe that has perforations around the entire pipe. Now, the French drain man high octane slotted pipe, that is what we use for the majority of our French drain applications. The reason we use this pipe is because one, it's made out of HDPE plastic. That's high density polyethylene plastic. This plastic, it gives, it has give to it. It's not rigid like PVC where it can break and fracture in the ground if we were to put extra holes in the PVC to allow it to take in more water. So that's one of the first reasons we use this pipe. The other reason we use this pipe is because it has inlets 360 degrees around the pipe. We can take in the max amount of water and airflow in the dry season with this pipe. That's something that you cannot do with PVC pipe. In the dry season, PVC French drains, they stay very wet inside that pipe. They have a hard time drying out because there's such few holes in this pipe. So PVC is really, it's best used for septic tank leach field applications to control the amount of water slowly leaching into the ground so that you don't saturate the ground too quickly, but you can still allow the septic tank to leach out through that leach field. Now, as you can see here, we're getting the main line filled in and tampered down. Now, the main line to our French drain is gonna be a solid pipe. Once we've collected the water in our perforated slotted pipe, we want to discharge that water. So you collect it with a perforated pipe and then you discharge it to the desired location with a solid pipe. As you can see here, this is going to be a completely open French drain. So water is going to be able to make its way directly from the surface down into our trench, fill our trench up. 
that pipe becomes the path of least resistance in the ground. That's the most least resistant path is going to be that pipe because it's the biggest void in the ground. And then water is going to flow through that and exit in the desired location. All right. Well, if you gain some knowledge from watching this video, give us a thumbs up. It really supports us. It supports the channel. I hope this explained a little bit on why we choose not to use perforated PVC pipe in our French drain applications. And if you live in the Tampa Bay area and you need a French drain installed around your property to help keep water flowing, give us a call at 813-614-3456. We are Stormwater Drainage Solutions and we're here to help. Until next time, this is SWDS signing off.